It's paradise. I'm here at the National Evangelical Spiritual Baptist Church. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary. They're having the 20th anniversary service. And after that, a barbecue. And then we're going to be speaking to the Archbishop. So stay with me. sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And other fell on ground, on good ground, and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God, those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. 
15th and last. Let us all read together. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. I hear the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and bless, bring out every
Let's look into the heart of man. What if you haven't got a noble heart? You could get one. There are many things that is happening in the world today. We have violence, we have crime, we have flood, we have people losing one another, husbands against wives, sisters and brothers and sisters and family against one another. Mothers are not treating children right, and so is fathers. And we need to come back to the spiritual life. What soil are we building our family values and foundation on? And we should build it on good soil. Amen. So let us look upon the scriptures and look within the world and see what is happening in the world. From your home, from the youths of today, from everything that is happening all over the world. Where are we building our patience? Where are we building our love? Where is our soil? What are we doing? What, where is our fruitfulness coming from? If we build on good grounds, our heart is like being, being repented. With those that have only given your heart fully in complete repentance at me turn around. You have love in your heart. You have built good solid ground. You have forgiveness. You have a good solid soil. Your work is giving and encouraging. Let's look for a minute and let us ask ourselves the question. What does it take for us to listen and have our fruit being multiplied and good grown? What does it take? Sow yourself righteousness. That's what it takes. Reap the fruit of unfailing love and bring up your unplowed life around everything and let it be. Seek the Lord while you may find it. And that's why when you're about to sow, you must be able to sow in the spirit. You must be able to sow, and when you sow, what are the things which you sow in the world? If you want some things to fall on good grounds, look at verse 8. Verse 8 said, and others fell on good ground and sprang up and bared fruit that it make a hundredfold. A lot of people in this world are reaping what they sow. And this is why they said you must sow good seed and whatever you sow, it's all to do with your heart. It's all to do with your mind, your body, and spirit. Jesus bring this message afresh to us. And he said to bear a crop for the Lord, you must become good soil. Amen. You, this plowing of repentance, loosen and soften your hard heart. And this good soil is your heart. And if your heart cannot bear those good fruits, what? And, and Galatians 5 tells us what those good soils bear. Patience, love, understanding, peace, joy, and love. When you are planted, when you are rooted by the Spirit of God, you may say you don't understand how to ask for repentance. You may not understand what to do when it comes to repentance. You may not understand what to do. All you have to do is say, Lord, I have sinned and I have come short. Because he said for the world he had given his son that we cannot be forgiven. And why we clear our minds from all the clutters, from all the sin, from all the unrighteous things in our lives, we'll be able to multiply and bear good fruit. Somebody will look upon you and say, you have encouraged me, you have forgiven me, you have spoken to me, you're bearing good fruit, you're multiplying because you're using the talent that you have, the spiritual talent, that somebody will get some fruit from you. What is somebody going to get some fruit from you? How are they going to get some fruit from you? Tell me how could somebody reap from your good soil, from your good heart? How somebody in the world could reap from you? Look at those who are in the flood. How, tell yourself, how can you help? Maybe you cannot reach over into the States. Maybe you cannot reach the Caribbean. Maybe you're in Canada. But how can you reach 
nurture someone and help them with your good soil and your fruitfulness. You could pray. You could get donations. You could get clothes. You could pray for the needy. You could help somebody without a house. You could find out where you could help. How could you help the youths of today right here? How could you help the poor people of today that are right here in Toronto? How could you help them today? You have to be in good soil and you have to be able to bear those good things within your heart for you to give it to somebody else. You have to have it first before you could give it. And how could you give it? You gotta go deep down and ask God to give you those long suffering, to give you those love, and to give you those understanding. Sometimes we pass somebody by the way that need help, and we pass somebody by the way and look at the Good Samaritan. Look at the Good Samaritan. Some, sometimes some of us are all in the different churches, and all the churches all around. We are priests. We are high priests. We are we are good, but sometimes we are on hard ground. We are not on good ground because when you pass the narrow way you look at somebody on Jericho Road and you pass them by because you said I cannot touch that person because they don't have enough money they don't look good they don't have clothes they don't have food and they don't understand you they are different they are Jews they are black they are white they are Asian you cannot do that because we are all equal in God's sight and we are all one people when you pass Jericho Road, oh, yes. Oh, yes. get somebody. Amen. Get somebody and say, that person of a womb. And when you're on the road, because your heart is good and you're in good soil, you're going to take that person in your car, in your home, and you're going to take them and you're going to dress them sore and you're going to give them a penny or you're going to put them in a room and you're going to put them in a hotel and you're going to say, I haven't got nothing, but the little I have, I give unto thee. What is it to love your neighbors as yourself? And some people just pass by the wayside because you are okay, because you have multiplied in your life, because you have everything else. Look at the children in the schools that are hungry. Look how many agencies are trying to help different people. Are they reaching the people that really need it? Are you reaching the people with the multi-million dollars that really need it? The violence, the youth, the food, the hungry. Right here in our city, we need people to understand that the only way you can help somebody is to build them on solid soil. Amen. And solid soil is good heart. The gate to the ground of good soil is to repent. Is to know God. Amen. Is to accept him as your personal savior and friend. This is to hear the word and hear it. And that word is implanted in you. That word is inside of you. And that word is warm. That word could open up to you. That word could prepare your soil. That you could be fruitful and multiply. That you could help somebody along the way. Amen. But let us ask your question first. Is your home in order? What about the soil about your home? Have you built your home? Last week we spoke about the foundation that you laid it on. Now it's fruitful, being fruitful. You or your heart. How is your home? How is your family? Within the homes right now, you're listening. What about the families in the home? Is their heart built upon good soil? If their heart is built on good soil, there will be no guns in the home. If the heart is built, built on good soil, there will be prayer time in the home. There will be meditation in the home. There will be forgiveness in the home. There will be somebody helping somebody or feeding somebody. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, uncle and extended family. If there is good soil in that home, everyone will get anointed and fruitful home you will have. The seed will germinate. The young plants will prop. And there will be fruit production of choosing a harvest that are delighted in him 
and could refresh others. Where is your fruit? What soil have you got? Did it fell to one year ago to the other? Or you're on good ground? That it grows up and spring. As we see the world today, some hear the words of God. But because they are wrapped up in the materialistic and the carnal way of life, they cannot have a foundation or no good soil because there is, is too much weeds within the heart. Are you with me? Amen. And within the heart, all the areas the youths need to be in those things. The orphans. Some people cannot have children. Go to an orphan home, get one. There's children that needs good soil. They are homeless. Some people have nowhere to go. Give that embrace it. As we are Christians today, we should be on good soil. All we have to do is bear good fruits. As I leave you today with these words of multiplying and good soil, I'm going to leave with you that that good fruit bear hundredfold. I hope today you bear a hundredfold. May that spirit stay with you, that you multiply today. When you leave here today, when you hear the voice of this message today, you must multiply. You must keep that soil. On Christ the solid rock I stand. Oh Lord. all the turmoil that's happening in the world today, I am safe. 
and I'm saved in Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We praise Him. Praise the Lord. We praise Him. That's all.